Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. This will be for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're looking at August to September 2022. And the reading won't be for everyone, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, two cards. Well, I like the one that's turned over. We have <laughs> success will find you. Very lovely energy. With that, we have Counselor. Maybe time for some emotional healing of your own or release the past. Careers in counseling, psychic work or energy healing may appeal to you. Your mental or, or emotional troubles could be blocking your abundance. The other thing what I, that I get with Counselor is you might be getting some good advice. Uh, it might well be professional advice, it could well be business advice here, it could well be from your friends or family as well or loved one. Uh, but for some of you this can also be that kind of advice energy. Okay Virgo, let's see what else we have for you. What do we have for Virgo please? Money, career, finances, August to September 2022 please. Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Virgo? Thank you. Message for Virgo. Thank you. So I have number 21. Clean it up. So let's read that out, Virgo. Number 21. Okay, we have clean it up. Getting to the core of a situation, freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. That is the meaning of the card. The prosperity message here, Virgo, is, is it possible you may be focusing too much on other people right now? Trying too hard to help be helpful? Does taking on what belongs to others make you feel needed or desired? Perhaps you think it's your calling to relieve people of their burdens, but what is the cost to you and to them? Don't clean up someone else's side of the street. You're not helping by freeing him or her of responsibility. You're also not doing yourself any favours and you just might be adding to an even greater strain. You are, lo you are loved as you are. You don't need to be, lo to be needed to be loved. Okay. Let's see what else we get with that. I am going to pull you a fortune cookie. So what is the fortune cookie for Virgo, please? Money, career, finances. Thank you. You've got two. First card is intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers or invest money. And your second card, friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness and excellent counselling skills will put them back on track, interestingly enough, because that's right next to Clean It Up. So, maybe you're doing too much for people, you know? Maybe people are putting on you, taking advantage of your good nature. Okay, Virgo, let's see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Virgos? Thank you. Money, career, finances for Virgo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. This will be August to September 2022. Message for Virgo. Thank you. So we have the Queen of Wands. There's the Intuition card. We have... The High Priestess, very intuitive energy. The Tower. 
the Hierophant. The Magician, you've got three major arcana all in one go, four if you, inc if you include the High Priestess. We have the Page of Swords. The Queen of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. Bottom of the deck, the Star. Chronologically, the Star comes after the Tower in the Major Arcana. So this feels like there's significant change or you may have experienced significant change or maybe. And then there's a feeling of this sense of new hope, renewal. So I'm going to clarify the Hierophant. Clarify the Hierophant for Virgo, thank you. So we have the five of coins or pentacles. And let's clarify this tower. We have the Page of Cups. It feels Virgo, there's something happens here. An event happens which causes, to, I mean again this could have happened or again it might well be, you know, you might well, it might well be happening, but there's a feeling here of, of an event that causes significant change. It, it feels it affects your, your money, career, finances in some way. So I'm going to clarify this Queen of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands. So it feels you just know, the High Priestess, I just know this is for me. I know this, this new path is meant for me uh, because you're being guided to this point. There's a sense of a significant change. You may have gone through a significant change. Again, whichever life stage you're at here, the Tower is... A significant change where something, I mean, it can be also be very sudden, but really that tower is shaken to the ground, you know, because it's all part of our evolution. We're never meant to stay in one tower our whole lives. We build many towers and take the, tear them down as we evolve through life and learn life lessons. So, you know, towers teach us quite a lot, you know, and the universe doesn't just leave you in a tower moment. Things have to change with the tower, but it's generally a part of aligning to to the direction that you need to go. And that's where the High Priestess comes in, because this is really trusting your intuition. This is your connection to spirit here. Um, she's very spiritual, you know, uh, and she she has a deep understanding of human nature. Very, 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 very deep understanding. I mean, there is a, a feeling here of, of you're being guided every step of the way, maybe through some kind of smoke and cloud and everything that's to do with that tower where you don't see everything clearly, but just trusting your intuition and your responses and how you move and respond to this situation. This is that high priestess energy, just being intuitive and intuitively responding to your situation and being guided every step of the way by a spirit. Now it does feel like you're being guided towards a new beginning and it's this queen, the queen of wands holds the wand. So it feels this queen is offering you a new path. Very good in terms of business, career, enterprise as well. So this can be about new ventures, new job opportunities, new business opportunities, 
but it feels that it's meant for you. It feels that whatever this new path is for you, Virgo, and you'll have a strong intuitive energy of, I really see this happening for me. I really see this new pathway is meant for me now. I know that sometimes, sometimes things have to be shaken down in order for me to be aligned to this new path as well. So just a strong energy here of this, it feels this has your name on it. There's a strong energy of, of this opportunity is meant for you. The Queen of Wands is very, very good in terms of a leader in business. Um, she's very, she's very much about enterprise and very creative, very uh, confident, uh, not afraid to to you know lead from the front as well you know she's very inspirational male or female this could be Aries Leo Sagittarius but really can be any sign somebody who's confident courageous driven go-getting action orientated empowered very successful as well and um, so yeah you might be meeting that kind of person here but they're offering you some kind of opportunity it feels this is an energy of success will find you because spirit is telling you yeah you might have gone through some significant change. There could have been an ending here with the tower. And what is the tower? Well, the tower can be a number of things, and it depends on what your circumstances are in money, career, finances. The tower is the tearing down of what was. So in your money, career areas, this could well be a company going bust. It could well be a job loss. It could well be to do with... Um, restructuring going on again whatever this would be for you but it, it feels and it could also be changes in relationships for some of you as well though I feel I feel it's more in this respect to do with again what we're, we're talking money career finances predominantly so there's there's a strong energy here of there's significant change here Virgo now the page of cups can just be a very supportive energy it's also a very intuitive energy as well. So this is somebody, again, who is trusting their intuition in responding to this tower, the challenge that this has presented to you. And again, that page of swords can be, um, page of swords can be messages, so the beginnings of something new opening up for you can also be for some of you um, where you're learning something or you're hearing about something of a tower happening here. Uh, so this could well be something coming to light, some news uh, that causes significant change. And again, whatever life stage you're at, whether you've already experienced this or, or it's coming your way, this is somebody who's very discerning, who reads the signs on the wall here. They can see something is happening and it's something significant. But a very it can be about learning something, hearing something, news. So there could well be some significant change here. Because the five of pentacles can be, it can be linked with job loss. It can be linked with changes in employment. Um, can be linked with investments as well. I mean, the tower can be investments. You know, if you've had an investment, it could well be, you know, the, the bank going bust or sort of the business that you invested in you know, or shares plummeting again, whatever that would be for you. Um, but this is the energy of, of someone who feels lack. So whatever situation this is, this is about um, somebody who feels lack. But you're not left, like I said with this Virgo, you're not left on your own here because there's a strong energy in this in this card of you're being watched over, but you just don't see it. Um so a strong energy here of there is hope in this situation, but there's always a need to take a step back with the five of pentacles because we can feel uh, like we begrudge our situation, understandably. Uh, you're fine and I'm not. I'm in this situation, you're fine, you know. There's this kind of feeling of someone who energetically feels like. Um, so yeah, there's, there's just a strong energy here of... of change maybe in, on the money front the hierophant it can be linked with long-term committed relationships or marriage so one of you may be experiencing uh, financial hardship in some way that may obviously impact the relationship the hierophant is also a great card of having faith or needing to have faith even lean on your spiritual faith in times of 
challenge. So the Hierophant, again, like I said, the strong energy of you are being watched over, even though these people don't see it right now, they feel out in the cold. Uh, they don't feel in a positive, you know, environment or climate or anything like that. They don't see where the hope is. But there is absolutely a higher power at work here. And that's what you're being told in this situation. Now, the Queen of Cups can be somebody who in... She can be a very supportive energy. So the Queen of Cups can be heart-centered energy. So if it is something that's affecting your relationship, your marriage, for example, this is the other person who may be supporting you. Um, somebody who you lean on in times of, of challenge. can also be, uh, for me as a reader, the Queen of Cups can be a very good leader in business as a people person. So links very well to HR, very good in terms of... of um, leaders who put people front and center uh, they want to you know they like to develop the people they like people to enjoy the job their door is always open they're always open to talk to um, they are easily to talk to and connect with uh, so you might be meeting that kind of person again whatever the, the court cards can mean a number of things so whatever that resonates with you on because it would be different for each of you So we've had a tower, we've had the significant change, and then we're in manifesting mode, manifesting something new. The magician is a lovely sign because it's your ruler. So this is Mercury, you doing what you would naturally do in this situation, connecting to that natural power that you have to turn something negative to positive, an idea to reality, base metal to gold. This is alchemy. This is somebody who has the power of alchemy. So you can mess up, manifest whatever you set your intention on in the next month or two. You can manifest the reality that you want. Manifest it into reality here. It's not always easy with the magician. Magician is not easy. Working magic is not easy, is it? Um, this is the command of all four elements. So earth, air, fire and water. And blessings from spirit. But a strong energy of you have the opportunity to really work your magic here and create a new path for yourself there is a strong energy of after the tower there is a sense of renewal and hope and optimism and it's from what you are manifesting how you are taking command of the situation here virgo and manifesting the outcome that you want because the star is a lovely energy of hope it's an energy of faith having faith uh, but also new optimism that's linked to new wishes coming true, new blessings. Uh, but sometimes we just have to have faith, you know. This is the energy of things probably won't be fully clear to you, um, but they will slowly become clear. So this is somebody who is, is, is walking forward in faith because they don't know how something's going to come out. But Spirit is telling you after this tower comes a wish coming true. A blessing you're absolutely being watched over to rebuild to rebuild and have a sense of new renewal and I love this energy because the five of swords is recognizing that it's not been easy here it's not been an easy experience to deal with however this is the energy of victory this is the energy of winning this is the energy of success, the Five of Swords. It can represent winners and losers. It can represent competition. Um, but it's, it's a victory over something that has been exceptionally challenging. And coming through the other side of it. And a feeling here of, of I just know. For some of you, it feels something comes in August to September here. The cards are only showing right now the fact that you just know this is meant for you and really spirit is saying there's a blessing here. So it feels that you'll be just intuitively knowing that this opportunity is yours and I feel it is. This is success will find you. You're being assured by spirit that in times of change, significant change here, success is coming your way. There's a significant turning point here because we're going from something that has been torn down to that sense of the new again. 
the sense of new wishes coming true, um, rebuilding. It might well be you get some good advice or seek professional advice in some way. Your intuition is very, very strong in the next month or two. I feel this energy of friendship is absolutely an energy. It might well be for some of you of, of you may well be given some assistance by friends. Um, someone might, you know, support you. But there's a strong energy of, of whatever the devastation this tower is leaving here, you have an opportunity to clean it up. You have an opportunity to put it behind you. And, you know, wipe the slate clean and start on a brand new path here, which is lovely. Success will find you. It's a lovely, lovely energy here, Virgo. So let's pull a card for the star, please. We have the Eight of Swords. Yeah, this is negative thinking. Somebody who may well feel trapped in their circumstances for a period of time. But you're being told victory is here. And victory is on this path. We have the Two of Wands. Choices, decisions. With that, we have the Ten of Wands. A weight is about to be lifted. It might well be for some of you, you're, this is where there is hope here, but you're waiting on what the next steps are. And there's negative thinking to do with that because this is somebody who really wants it. They really want the victory here. The Ten of Wands is the sign of a weight will be lifted here, Virgo. And the Knight of Wands, again, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Ace of Wands here. This is the energy of all systems go, new opportunity arriving. Um, in that kind of blaze of glory energy, the Knight of Wands is, you know, fire energy. So it's it, the Knights bring change. They bring offers and opportunities for change. I feel this is what you've been manifesting here, Virgo. So there's a strong energy of... of an opportunity being presented to you and it's connected to your heart and soul the one's energy is exciting it's full of potential and power uh has the power to really bring success and grow you know um but it does feel a new opportunity is being presented to you here there's a strong feeling of there may well be some negative thinking and you just have to have faith here that's what you're being told while you wait on what the next steps are but there's a strong energy of a burden will soon be released. There's victory here and the wand, the opportunity is presented. Okay, final message for Virgo. Thank you. Oh, I love this. Oh my God. Oh my. I will show you the next card as well. We have lost and found. How apt is that for this reading? What was once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost. It's just like there's a tower and spirits helping you clean it up, you know, um, and manifest something new. Lose something, find something else. With that, we have hope, which is very much in line with that star card. Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation to a positive one. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. I wish you a wonderful next month or two. If you enjoyed the reading, do like, share and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time.